Hey everyone, it's Trish from Bird Feed. Welcome back for more ideas and inspiration for your Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. I have another shoe box unboxing for you today. This one I packed for a 10 to 14 year old girl and it has a bell theme from Beauty and the Beast. And although I, I originally started packing it for a 10 to 14 year old, I actually changed it to a five to nine year old midstream. I started packing this last year. And so I was collecting for five to nine. And then when I actually packed it into the box, I changed it back to 10 to 14. 10 to 14s have a greater need. You guys can weigh in and let me know what your thoughts are. I decorated the inside of the lid using the packaging that was in the back of the doll, which was plain. It did not have bell on it. It did have the um, candelabra, but bell is a sticker. The rose is a sticker and her name, Bell, is a sticker. I added those. I'm going to go ahead and take out her notebook first because it's a little bit stiff and keeps flopping over onto what I'm trying to do here. It's a very pretty pink glitter notebook that I got on clearance at Walmart for 50 cents after back to school last year. Not this past, but the year before. Um, her doll is a really pretty bell doll that I got on clearance at Home Goods two years ago. I've been waiting to put this doll in a shoebox. And I only paid $2 for her on clearance. And she's wearing a beautiful dress. I love her shoes. And she's got long hair. She has a necklace and she sings. So I really like Belle. Her plush, something a little soft, is a Thai beanie. This is the Punkies collection, Thai beanie bear in this pink, it's like a neon pink and yellow with this cool uh, stringy fur. I don't even know what you call that kind of fur but um, the colors throughout this box are pink and yellow. I picked up this t-shirt from Walmart for a dollar on clearance last year or the year before. <laughs> I don't remember, I've had it for a while. And I picked it up um, in uh, extra large, 14, 16, that's a girl's size. And I, I just think it's very feminine and pretty with the eyelet scalloped sleeves, like a little bell sleeves, bell sleeves to go with bell. <laughs> and it's in this pretty yellow, which may be a little bit washed out on camera, but it is a pretty yellow. Her hairbrush is a pretty glitter gold hairbrush that I got from the Dollar Tree also last year. She has a yellow jump rope, 10 cents from Walmart summer clearance. Last year after Christmas, I bought a couple of these music boxes from Walgreens um, for, I think these were $1.99. And this one happens to be Belle. And it is so pretty. Inside, I've packed it full. Uh, I put in an outfit for her doll. She's got um, a pair, and this I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I thought it was such a pretty outfit. A pair of pants and a top. And then she's got a pair of shoes and a handbag to match her outfit. Yellow elastic headband with a, this is one of those Jojo Siwa bows, hair bows that I got on clearance at Walmart. And I attached it to the headband as many of us have been doing as of late because sometimes, depending on the country, some girls wear their hair very close cropped to their head and they don't have enough hair to really put a clip in. She's got a lip balm 
a little yellow googly eye. And she's got three bounce balls with the uh, red hearts centered inside the clear. And a couple of horses. I don't know, I always think of horses when I think of princesses. I got them for cheap at Walgreens on clearance at one point in time. Some spirit horses. And I just tied these hair elastics together with a pretty organza bow. And then in the very bottom is where we come to some more of her jewels. <laughs> She's got three hair clips. I'm hoping this girl has some hair, but if not, maybe she'll find a use for these. But I thought this one was pretty with the rhinestones and pearls. And this is like a bobby pin, has pearls on it. And this is like smoky topaz rhinestones, also a bobby pin. Just got a couple more hair clips. Boy, I put a lot of hair accessories in this one. So it's probably going to a girl with longer hair. <laughs> That's my guess. And then in the very, very bottom, she's got a pretty bracelet with a rhinestone decoration on it. It's like a bangle bracelet and matching earrings, a necklace with a little rhinestone on it. So that's what's in her jewelry music box. I put together a little sewing kit in one of these little um, zippered change purses. These I got for 30 cents at Walmart on clearance last year. And I put inside, just on some felt, some sewing needles. And I forget where I got this little plastic box, but it came, it had some, oh, it had safety pins in it, different size safety pins. So I, I included safety pins and some buttons and then some snaps and hooks and eyes in there. And she has a couple of tiny spools of thread here in colors, yellow, green, pink, and blue. And um, this came with something that I had years ago, I think. I don't know, but I've had it in this little package, sequins, and I decided to include it in this shoe box. Then um, I, I couldn't fit in her sewing little sewing kit, the bigger spools of thread. So I, I just put them in the box. She's got a white and a black big spool of thread. I gave her a red rose novelty pen because Belle and the red rose are synonymous. And a pair of sunglasses that I got on clearance at Walmart last year for $1.50. She'll enjoy having a pair of sunglasses. Those are adult size sunglasses. Because I included a sewing kit in this shoe box, I also wanted to include a yard of fabric in a really pretty print. It has roses on it, red roses. And uh, it's from Waverly. I got it at Walmart on clearance for $1.15. Can't beat that for fabric, $1.15 a yard. I also included a spool of pink ribbon that she can use for almost anything, but I included it to go with her sewing kit and this fabric. I thought it would be very pretty with that. And she has a package of colored pencils, a 12 pack. This was a quarter from Walmart last year after uh, back to school. And then her crayons only cost me 15 cents. I bought these in a pack of 30, I believe. I included a crown because what princess does not wear a crown? And this is one of those really flat ones. It's a really pretty one. It is for an older girl, this particular crown. I included a bell puzzle. I love including puzzles. They're a lot of fun and they're educational. This is a bell Beauty and the Beast puzzle. The 
box that it comes in with the picture on it is at the bottom of the box and I'll show you the, the puzzle when we get to it. She's got a soap dish with a bar of soap and nail clipper and three, uh, no, four emery boards. I also included this two pack of full sized nail files that I got on clearance at Walmart last year after Christmas for nine cents and it comes in this reusable vinyl envelope packaging. It says less bitter, more glitter. Her pencil pouch is a coordinating um, glitter pencil pouch that I got on clearance at Walmart for 50 cents. And inside she has a pink eraser, some insect erasers. Oh, she's got another. So I gave her two pink erasers, four insect erasers, three pencil sharpeners. She has one of those stackable crayon pens in hearts, a yellow highlighter, and she has three pens, a red, a blue, and a black, and uh, eight pencils, four decorated pencils topped with eraser caps, and four number two pencils and then a uh, multicolor lead pencil. A couple pairs of socks. A couple pairs of underwear. In a girl size 14, 16, I believe these are. And then she has a little bralette. I gave her a face mask. This is adult size face mask. It says stay happy on it. I gave her a, an adult size, full size scissor. These are Westcott in pink. I got this recently at Menards for 50 cents. She has a Disney Princesses journal with Belle on the cover. I got this at the Dollar Tree. And then um, on the inside, I put a lot of stickers that have things like flowers and scrolls, hearts, crowns, and these little banners just to decorate in her journal. And these came from a big coloring and sticker activity book that I got, I think at Goodwill for a dollar but it was really thick, and so I broke it up and I'm putting the, it in separate boxes. Her tote is a Disney Princess's tote bag with Belle front and center. And this I got at the Dollar Tree. I actually wanted to fit in a backpack, but I couldn't fit it in this shoe box. Um, also, when I cut up that uh, coloring activity book I was talking to you about. I cut up a lot of extra stickers with Bell on them and other things. There's a lot of Bell and some Disney princesses. There's all sorts of different stickers in here. I don't know if you're seeing these from just tons of different Bell stickers that were in that book and I cut them up and put them in a little envelope. It's a really pretty envelope. She has a toothbrush with a cap. I was able to squeeze in this flying disc. I get these on Amazon in bulk. I'll leave the link in the description below. These come out to like, I think they were less than 50 cents each and they're fun to play with. I gave her a little booklet of plain paper so she'll have someplace else to either scribble or draw or put stickers. One of my favorite things in the box besides Belle and her music box 
<laughs> is this coloring book. Um, I picked this up at Dollar General on clearance. It was like a $5 coloring book. Um, and I think I got it for a dollar. Yeah, I did. But I also tucked in there, before we get to this book, I tucked in there some um, Disney Princess stickers. It's got Belle in some different places on there, and then some Belle and other stickers here of Disney Princesses. And these are some of the coloring pages that came out of that big book I said I got from Goodwill. Um, that I cut out all the Beauty and the Beast pages. So there are some really great ones in here. That was in that coloring book. And then the one I got for a dollar at Dollar General also has some really fabulous illustrations and the story of Beauty and the Beast. So that's really great. I love that. So this is the Beauty and the Beast puzzle that's in there. And I included the box as I try and do anytime I give a puzzle, if it's small enough to collapse in the bottom of the box, so they'll have some place to store their puzzle when they're not playing with it. And then she's got a note and photo from me that I decorated with a bell sticker. It says beautiful child on it. So that's my bell themed box for a 10 to 14 year old girl. I love this shoe box and I, I really hope the young lady who receives it is not too old for her bell doll. If you enjoyed the video, uh, let me know with a thumbs up and uh, give me your two cents worth. I'd love to hear it. So thanks for watching today and I will catch you in my next video. Bye now.